Hey partners, today we're gonna do a quick Slinky Dog mod video. All right, let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Here we have Slinky Dog, and this is the Slinky Dog that I recently got from Toy Story 4 release a couple months back at Walmart. It was only $15. I did do a review on this, so if you guys wanna see a comparison and review um, there is a video for that that I'm gonna link at the end of this video and in below anyway yeah the slinky dog it's an upgrade it doesn't have a hole in its head which is really great news and um, it has better hind legs in the front there's just so many upgrades from the old ones that we got but the problem is there is a string that I want to cut so as you can see there is a string here in the middle that kind of it's supposed to be a safeguard so that you don't overstretch your toy, but I don't like it because it doesn't look movie accurate with a giant white string in the middle. So let's cut it together and see how it goes. So all you really have to do is pull on the back part of the string and stretch it out so that you're pulling as hard as you can while holding it down. This is where you want to kind of hold the tension of the string so it doesn't slip back in. You get the scissors and you cut it right there as you're pulling on the string and that should really fix it honestly. So there's no extra string popping out of the hole which is great. So now this is a successful cut on the back end. So you can see there's no extra rope. You pulled it out and you cut it and it worked. So that was really easy. Now, here comes the tricky part. So on the front side, there is no tension to pull on, so you're gonna have extra rope hanging out when you cut it. So just pull it the best you can and put the scissors uh, flat against the object. Um, as much as you can, just try to make it flush against the plastic and then pull, make the cut. And you're gonna notice after I cut it here that there's some extra rope left behind. So the good news is we got most of the rope out. So you can see here, it's, it's just a regular thin thread, white rope. Now the problem is here in the front, there's extra rope hanging out, which I don't like and I don't want it there. And it's really impossible to remove with scissors or your fingers, so you're gonna have to get creative. And so this was my solution. Um, I found a mini screwdriver flathead and usually for like a glass, you know, eyeglass repair kit. And I decided to kind of shove the rope back in because I noticed that if I twisted it and um, kind of shoved it back in far enough, it was able to give and the rope, the excess rope actually fell inside of the body. So that way, um, as you can see here, um, doing this, it's gonna give it a little bit of a cleaner look and then you don't have to deal with uh, any extra rope showing or any extra threads poking out. So that was the good part that this method worked um, hopefully this kind of thing works for you guys, but I just really like that it's a clean look and now it's fixed. So the next step was to take out the pull string from the front. The good news is it's really easy. I just untied it and you just pull it out and look at that. It's already a lot more movie accurate just by untying the rope in the front. That part is probably the easiest part of this mod. It doesn't take any expertise. All you gotta do is untie it, pull it out easily, and look how great it looks already. It looks more like the movie just by doing that simple fix. And just when I thought it was over, nope, another string on the tail. Ah, uh, now I gotta cut that off. Well, let's do it together. So I had to cut one end, it was pretty simple. Um, that one wasn't hard to do at all. Just gave it a little cut there. That one came off, now the back part. It's kind of small, the slinky part, so it was really hard to get my scissors in there, but I was able to cut it out and I was able to pull out the string. So that was the good news. Uh, the bad news is um, there's some visible leftover thread, so I had to get rid of it. So again, I got creative, I got the screwdriver method, and I just try to shove it back into that compartment so that it's kind of less visible. It's not perfect, but it was the only thing that I could think of that works and looks a lot better. So now, if you look at the slinky tail, there is no white rope in there, there's no white thread, and it looks really cool, um, more like the movie for sure. So now that we uh, stretch Slinky, it's a lot more freedom. We definitely have more room to stretch him. So definitely be careful, don't overstretch it, obviously. 
but I definitely tested the limits of how far I could stretch it without feeling like I was gonna break it. And this was kind of the max stretch I could get for Slinky Dog, where I felt like it was very tight tension, but at the same time, I didn't feel like I was gonna break it. And look how far he stretches. It reminds me of when Slinky was holding on to Woody in the movie, whenever Woody <laughs> was falling out of window or he needed some help, uh, Slinky Dog stretched out this far. And I think it looks really cool. And I definitely recommend cutting the rope. Just be very careful and you can definitely stretch them out. I think this is an awesome, fun mod. As you can see, it didn't take me that long to do, but it definitely has a very visual and powerful effect. And it's gonna pair with your Toy Story collection toys a little better when there's no white visible string holding it back. And you can have fun actually stretching it really far. And to me, that is the coolest part about this. So it's very simple. All I used was a mini screwdriver and scissors. Um, if you're a kid, definitely do adult supervision. I do not recommend kids playing with scissors. So definitely can, uh, talk to a parent or an adult if you're gonna do this. Um, but yeah, for adult collectors or kids alike, it's a great mod to do. After the mod, I put Slinky Dog in my display case. I'm really happy with the Slinky Dog now, ready to display with the rest of my Toy Story collection toys. Well, there you have it, the quick Slinky Dog mod. If you guys like what you see on this channel, please like and sub, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.